What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today I thought we'd show a little love to Ong Hell, a freaking amazing character, guys, especially considering the fact that she is a green, she has dot explosion, and she is very, very relevant for a lot of players out there. But what can she do against Omega Rugal? Because Omega Rugal actually gets weakened by poison. Now, we're just going to be using poison. And the thing to remember when it comes to guild raid is that when you apply both of these dots at the same time, you'll actually break the meters much, much faster. But we're just going to be applying, applying the poison from Angel. Now, Angel kit is really, really nice because you can actually control whenever you're applying poison damage. So literally, you can just hit the third skill, hit the second skill to apply the poison, and then the first skill is actually going to reset, or not reset, but it's actually going to remove the poison. But what happens is this thing has a 50% chance to reset the second skill, so you can actually apply poison afterwards and then have that poison applied for that 10 seconds. And the other thing that's nice is it applies to all enemies. So even if I don't hit Rugal, we're still going to apply poison to him. Now we're going to be using the free set, the Rush Dungeon set, with these two critical rate cars. This is actually really good for her because she does gain 15% critical rate whenever she lands a critical attack. So whenever we have more critical rate, that's really going to help her. And her leadership is awesome because she got the extra critical danger by 60%. So the more we crit, the harder she's going to hit, the more often she's going to hit uh, really, really hard. So Let's see what this girl can do. Actually, real quick, guys, she has three imprint stones, by the way. She doesn't have five imprint stones. But let me go ahead and I didn't even turn on my remote. So let's do that real quick. There we go. All right, now let's jump in here and see what happens. Now, she should be able to stay alive because we're actually going to be using her shield to prevent from taking damage from Rugal because the shield does work against Omega. Now, the thing that's kind of a bummer about Angel is that her shield actually procs whenever you use a skill, which can be a little tricky sometimes. It's a lot nicer whenever the shield procs whenever you're actually being attacked, uh, similar to like someone like, say, Leona. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you just got to figure out how to time that thing in order to keep her alive. I mean, you could always give her a healer, but she really doesn't need it. And right now, I wasn't applying the dot explosion there. I was just doing the three, two. Now her shield's up right now, so unfortunately her shield probably won't be up after this. That's all right. That's all right. We got the shield. That's all right. No problem. We haven't taken any damage yet. We probably will. I mean, there's going to come a point in this fight where our shield won't be up and we'll, we'll take a good amount of damage. So this is actually really nice. Right now, we don't have a shield up. I don't, whenever her shield is up, whenever we're in her 3PG, that kind of worries me a little bit because I, I'm worried she's going to take damage. But man, she can, uh, she can break that meter pretty damn quick, even though, well, I mean, she is applying bleed. Oh boy, here we go. Shield's up, so we're probably going to take some damage after this one. We'll see. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect. And it's really nice that she's got that 10 second poison. Okay. Go, 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 girl, go, go, go. I mean, yeah, she can obviously solo this, no problem. I've, I've seen guys get like... Rugal going in his eye frames.
There we go. Use that 3PG. You never get tired of watching this 3PG. It really is funny. Atta girl, atta girl. So, I mean, she's really uh, doing pretty damn good. Over 2 billion. I probably could get more if I practiced a lot, put in some good runs, but easily a one key score with just three stones on her. I mean, she definitely breaks that meter pretty damn fast. Pretty awesome. Who would have thought a grab character was going to break meters really, really fast? So, I mean, 2.3 billion, guys. Easy, easy. One key in guild raid. No problem at all. So, like, those of you that are you know, maybe new to the game, you picked up on Hell. Yeah, she's going to be getting your one keys for you. I mean, granted, I do have, you know, my fan system is leveled up. A little bit. My fame system's only at... If we take a look at it... So, my fame system for a green color is actually at level 12 at attack. And I can tell you guys, I've been getting screenshots from uh, players showing on Hell doing tier 57 in RHD. And this is really where a lot of irrelevance will lie. I mean, I can't stress that enough for you guys. The fact that you'd be able to farm, you know, your green stage over and over every single day. And even if even doing just a bunch of cheekiness in this is really, really valuable. I cannot stress that enough. Having a character like this is really relevant, even for a veteran like myself and knowing by the way that players are doing you know tier 57 just with a level 90 on hell makes me think that having her at a3 i'll absolutely be able to do daily tier 70 rhd for the green elements with an a3 on hell which is actually pretty awesome not to mention that you know if you get her at a5 you're going to have the ex core which gives the critical damage to ex fighters not to mention that even if you have just at level 90 she still gets that passive or that core passive where she increases burn and shock i mean this character really does have a lot of relevance they did such a great job for her and i just can't stress that enough but i mean if you're just using her for guild rage yeah she can absolutely get that one key no problem just a complete solo all on her lonesome thanks to having both the dots available and the fact that she got a shield she got the good survivability and the fact that she can just melt meters quite fast it's pretty amazing that a grab character melts them shields so quick so let me know how y'all feeling about on hell and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gmt plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody